Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to show you guys a brand new box that I received from Minix Group. It is called Minix Neo X8 and this one is the Plus version. Alright, with this box, you can see right now, the way that has been designed is almost similar to the older box that we had last year. But again, there are some plus signs into this. So right now, it's just going all around. Inside of the box, you can see the content that are included is the Minix Neo X8 Plus box itself. It comes with mini Minix IR remote. It is very nicely created. You can also see that it comes with a dual band antenna. It is very big and it will work with a longer range. Also comes with 5 volt power adapter. It also comes with an HDMI cable. Comes with a micro USB cable and also comes with OTG cable. Now that is going to be used for software upgrades. And you can see the box itself is nicely put together. If you go around it from the front there's nothing there. But when you go on the side it has the power button and then it comes with a headset jack with a microphone jack on the side too. It has one USB 2.0 and then it have the SD card slot and right beside that you have the OTG little section so you can use it for software upgrade. If you flip it in the back you can see from the left hand side that I have a little part for the recovery and then right beside that HDMI connection and then you have the optical audio connection also it, it has the two USB 2.0 ports right beside that you have the RG45 connection or Ethernet connection and then you can see it does have the 5 volt DC power connection. If we flip it on the other side you can see that it has a nice connection for the big antenna that comes with it which is dual band. If you look in the bottom part of it you can see it has four little sections so it will hold up the box and it has a nice design for the Android logo and it does indicate it's created by Minix. Alright so let's just get disconnected and we will show you on the screen what you're going to see. So first thing first make sure that you connect your HDMI wire and then connect your power. Alright so you have to press the power button on the side of the box itself and then you're going to see the Minix logo right away. And now it's just going into animation logo for Minix and just waiting for it to go inside of the box itself. As soon as the first time it loads up, this is the screen you're going to get that you have to select the proper launcher. So in this case, I always suggest for you guys to select the Minix Metro launcher and then click on always. It will take a couple of seconds and then it will go in. This is the main screen you're going to get. So let's just get familiarized with the main screen first. You can see on the top that you have the Wi-Fi icon and then you have the Ethernet and then you have the Bluetooth. Now we are connected, we have Wi-Fi, that's why it's green. Ethernet is gray, that means it's not connected and then the Bluetooth is already enabled. Yes, this box is enabled Bluetooth. So you can connect your Bluetooth devices to this. The next thing is these are all just little folders that you can go through. Something like if you want to go into the video folder itself when you click on it these are the default one that is already there but you can add more by just going to this plus sign. The next good thing is XBMC is, has been modified by Minix Duff Team. Doesn't matter if you want to stream from inside of your network or you want to go outside and grab third party add-ons or the default add-ons that are part of the Kodi itself. The next thing is the music. So again these are folders you can add more things to it. This one is for games. Again, there's no games already pre-installed, but you can download it from Android Market. There are a lot of them available now. The next part is your browsers. So remember that it comes with one browser already built in, but you can get the other one, something like Chrome, or you can now get Opera, or the best one is Dolphin. We can change colors, so it doesn't hurt your eye. Another one is video players. You can go to that. Nothing available right now. Nothing has been added. And then you do have the Miracast little folder so you can add your Miracast or if you have more. And if you have any chats. And this one is for settings. So now you can set up everything through the settings itself. So it doesn't matter if you have your Wi-Fi or other ones. You can see right now that since I am a little bit further, I have an extender for my Wi-Fi. 
so you can see this is the first one this is my extender and also we have the 5 gigabit version of the internet which is the dual band what I was talking about when we were showing you the box itself so yes you can connect to the faster one and this is my extender so that's why you can see three of the same name if we go under display here's how you can connect your box into maximum resolution so if you turn this off and you click on the mode itself and now with this you can connect it up to 4k now 4k and 30 hertz it does not go any higher than that for the meantime at the meantime i set it up under 1080p in display position just in case if your screen is not full screen click on this and you can go up or down with your ir remote and you can make it full screen press the back button to get out of it the next section is the advanced so you can use your usb audio or anything else the next part is other now in here you're going to check to see the proper version of your box so you can see that it is neo x8 plus it is running version 4.4.2 of android os and also the build version and the kernel versions at the bottom if you want to get a system update if there is availability you can click here to get it and also if you want to go into regular android settings so you can get more access you can also add more icons in the bottom by just clicking this plus sign you can get the apps that are available so in this case we will be adding a few we're going to add the browser we're going to add the android market also we're going to add the system update and we're going to say confirm there you go you can see it that has been added in the bottom now you can see the next section is the time you can see it on the top and then you have the file explorer so you can click on it and you can add anything inside of this the next one is all apps so when you go to it you can see all the apps that are available inside of this there are really good apps inside of it again the one that comes as a default as an xbmc as xbmc for minix but the one that we have entered on top just to make sure it's working is regular Kodi. yes it does work it does come with the 4k player which if you have videos it will play like charm for you the next part is the app market which is the android play store and also if you're running anything in the background you just have to click on this and it takes a couple of seconds and it kills all the apps for you in the background so this way your box is always going to run fast and top notch all right so let's just get into some benchmarking in order to do that let's go to file explorer and i have already shortcutted a few of them here so let's go to n22 first all right so we will click on the test result and we will give it a few seconds for it to go through all right so once it's done we will click on detail and now it gives us a really good reading on the top of 31.589 and this is just for Neo X8 Plus you can see at the bottom that it does say for multitasking it run on 4767 and also for the CPU it was running on 2404 and we were looking at the CPU on a single thread and also on the multiple that how much was the difference it's not that much and also the RAM version of it was only running about 2271 so it's a really good performance that I can see on this so now if you want to go into info you can see a lot more information about this box itself here it talks about what version it has what CPU it's using which is quad core ARM 7 and it is running Molly 450 for the rendering it is right now set up under 1080p and going down it tells you the total amount of RAM that has been used also system storage and more so this is a really good app to use for your benchmarking so let's get out of this we will go under CPU Z so we click on it once it comes up you can see that the first part that it is running ARM Cortex A9 1.9 by 9 gigahertz which is 2 gigahertz and the core is four cores and if we go down here you can see the ones that are stopped and the ones that are working and you can see the vendor the GPU is ARM is Molly 450 the CPU load is about give and take between 9 to 17 percent which is really good and if we go down and if you go under system 
this is where you're going to see more information about the manufacturer or what version of software using what hardware it has and the android version is 4.4.2 if you go down more the screen size you can see the ram total right now is 1500 megabytes in use and internal storage is about 12.4 gigabyte the rest has been taken care of by the software itself and the root access is not available on this box all right so let's just get out of this too and we will go into linpack this is another good software we have run it already a few times you can see the numbers that we were getting was between 480 to like 520 it is a really good software let's just run one more time and see what we will get now and yes this time it will take a little time for it to run it is not like before you can see it right now that it is 496 it is really good number by the way all right so let's just get out of this too the next thing we will check is the xbmc or cody that has been customized a 4k video you can see right now it's just loading again it's not a big file but right now you can see that it is playing really quick and very smooth also I brought up the menu at the bottom you can see that it is 4k it's running AAC 2.0 and also has the audio is English this is something that I have filmed before all right so we will get out of it and we will go into a 1080p video and this is one of my stock videos you can see that it has a little pause but again it played very very smoothly you can see it is 1080p AAC it is running 2.0 again and the audio is English we will get out of that too all right so that's it we will get out this will be available in the bottom on where you can order this box from and also get more help all right so this was our take on the minix neo x8 plus when there is availability for updates we will bring in videos for that for this box for the meantime i hope you guys like our video if you do like it click the click the like button subscribe button on the top comment on the bottom always remember to visit our own website which is xctext.info like us on facebook follow us on twitter vine instagram and other social networking places and thank you